When Hashem gave us the Torah, He held a mountain over our heads. And He said, if you accept the Torah, wonderful. And if not, there will be your burial. Many of us understand this Gemara in a negative sense. He's trying to show us, if you don't accept the Torah, no, no. That's a sense of fear and dread. And then we live a Judaism that's all the time about the fear of punishment. But there's a deeper way, a more lasting way to understand this Gemara. When Hashem gave us the Torah, He said, I love you so much. I'm marrying you. Hashem Himself is marrying a human being, you. And when you get what that means, the love is so overpowering that you realize if I don't take this, I'm finished. That's my burial place. It's all about the love of Hashem to us. And then almost a thousand years later, the Purim story came about and we didn't feel Hashem's love and we had to look for it. And that's when the marriage becomes real. When you don't feel Hashem's love, things look like they're going wrong and you still accept that He loves you no matter what. That's the power. Then Matan Torah becomes real. Hashem loves us and we love Him. Sometimes we don't see it. That's in order for us to find Him and to build a deeper relationship. And then you feel the love more than ever.